Hey my beautiful people, so for this video I'm doing a review and I'm gonna show you the results in the end. Um, This is a foot mask that I've been seeing all over TikTok some time ago and I decided to purchase it and try it myself. So first I read the instructions and it said that you need to soak your feet in hot water before you do this. So I did that and this is how my feet looked after the soak but before the mask you can see my bunions you can see i have a little bit of dry spot on the heels this is so embarrassing to do but it's part of life sometimes we neglect some of our things that we need to do in our self-care and this is me well in truth i actually left my feet alone for a period of time just to test this product and covid and all of that combine gave the foot that look so anyways this is it it is packaged with two booties in one satchel um when you purchase it on it on from the link that i will post below you get three of these so you get six booties in one um three we call it mask sessions in 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 one buy um so i had to cut the top to separate both booties there's the liquid in there and it's very thick there's like a mesh mask um thing inside with the liquid with it and then the plastic on the outside so you just slip your foot on there's a little tab that you will see later on that i use to tighten it around my foot and keep it closed i added socks for extra protection to keep it on because i was going to be moving around and then i fell asleep with the baby or whatever but it helps to keep the foot the um the thing on the foot even more um so yeah that's me putting it on you can see me struggling a bit don't mind the boobs i was just lounging in the house in my robe hey guys <sighs> y'all saw that i just put this on well not just over an hour ago um so i'm about to remove it and we're gonna go to through the process together to see how my feet stripped um i'm about to take it off give me a minute So what I'm doing right now is like massaging it before I take it off of, like because I went over the 90 minutes. I went about two hours because I was walking around and then the baby fell asleep so I was laying down with him so now I'm just massaging it in places to make sure that even though I was doing it earlier. To make sure it got in all the right places between the toes everywhere to make sure i got a good strip um and then i'm gonna show you guys what my foot look like after i take it off all right so this is how the foot is and this is my worst foot i didn't get to show you guys before i forgot to show you guys the before of this foot but this one has a nice gold i can't believe i'm showing this on the internet but hey you've been having a rough year i've not been doing my foot i must say my foot feels soft so far um so i want to see what it can do to this and i deliberately didn't do my feet to the two last times i went to do my nails when i went to do it for anniversary and when i got my fill um so that i can really test this product see i'm expecting here to have a nice peel i'm expecting a big peel here and of course down here as well so let's see what we get out of this um 
foot peel, this foot mask. Um, I need to do my toes. So after my foot strip, I'm definitely going to get my toes done, redone. I broke my nails, so I didn't want to paint them until I grew it out a little again. Um, because the last time I went, when I went to do my um anniversary nails, I did a dry or just painted my nails. Let's just say I did painted my nails, clean up my nails, and painted my nails. So. I'm gonna take up the next foot and we inspect that one. Alright, so this is my left foot. It's not as bad as you saw earlier. It has a bunion here and a bit of dryness, which the serum, the mask has really covered. So my foot actually looks soft. Um so we will see. The progress as it starts to strip it says it will strip in five to seven days let's see all right so i just came out the shower and i actually saw this there's a little bit of progress with stripping so it's i think it's day two or yeah i think it's day two since i've put on the socks the mask the foot mask and i'm starting to see stripping around the toe area show the next foot Ooh. it's awkward as hell this is coming up over here toe as well mostly around the toe area starting to strip so far and a little bit of the heel this right here is my main concern i want to see if it really can get all of this off because i'm just ready to dig it off but let's see once again i can't believe i'm showing this on the internet but yeah i gotta see if these foot masks really work we're on day three and this is before i wash my foot so don't mind the dirt dirt foot what um my crocs need to wash um but yeah this is a stripping that's going on right now this is how it's looking it's really stripping a lot now Every crevice and part. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like after I after I take a bath. I'm gonna be now. Um, but yeah, all my toes, all my the tops of my feet itch a lot. That's for sure. Like the dry areas. Oh gosh, it itches so much. Um, but my toes are stripping in between and all um but yeah these are my feet the heels don't look as strippy as i was expecting and this foot is stripping more than this one as you guys can see um but yeah they're stripping so this is day three okay people so this is my these are my feet after I took a bath. We can see more coming up. I am going to actually cut this off with my um, clippers. Um, my cute little clippers. Um, but yeah, these. Look at my foot, man. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, this is a foot day three after I take a bath. Um, while washing, a few of the dry skin came off, but it's still stripping. I'm not going to do much picking. I'm going to leave it to do what it's doing. Um, as I said before, this foot seems to be peeling a lot more. Um, I don't know if it's because it has more dryness or whatever the case may be, but 
yeah, these are my feeds. And I still can't believe I'm doing this and putting this on the internet. But hey, somebody will see it and I will say, all right, let me go ahead and purchase that. But yeah, this is my process with the foot mask, day three. Hey guys, so I'm going to say this is the last day of the foot mask peeling mask video um we still have a bit of uh what you call it peeling on the top but for majority of it foot is peeled still have a few here but i don't think this is gonna come off might need another mask to get rid of that and do mind my curling iron burn putting my curling iron together as in wrapping up the ends and swing it right on my leg anywho i'm clumsy but yeah um i think this made mostly or mainly the inner portions of my foot softer it didn't get the callus off because i have really bad calluses on the side of my feet this feet which is my right feet was worse than the left because I, I seem to walk on the outer portion of my feet. I do notice it and try to correct it at times, but not all the time. Um, yeah, so my foot is feeling very soft, much softer than it was. As I said, the top portion of my feet is what's left. I probably do a soak, hot water soak, and then get my toes done um, to get the rest off. Um, but yeah, I'm, I like it thus far. You might have to do like, if you have really bad dry feet, like eczema feet, I would say you'd have to do, uh, multiple. I don't think you can do them back to back, but it's something that you can do over and over to get your feet as soft as you want. But I can tell that it does work because these feet, as you guys saw, were very dry and needed some TLC, which is why I did this because I really wanted to test it. I've been seeing it on TikTok and I was curious about it. So TikTok did make me buy it and I'll say it is a, it is a, it's, it's a buy. It's a good buy. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to wrap my foot in, um, I'm going to moisturize my foot with shea butter and wrap them in the night from now on to keep them, keep them supple like I used to. I really, um, neglected them for a month or two. I really wanted to see how they would look if they were really tore up, um, but yeah, I might give this to a few people, like my dad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to take off the rest that is not really peeling very good around here. And do a little bit of scrub, but as I said, the inner portion of my foot, is, you can see, like, it looks softer. Um, the callus areas that I get, uh, like here. Are a bit softer but it's not like it gonna take out all of this in one go um so yeah i need to do my my, my toes now that i got that done so just the top layers and the outer areas need a little bit of scrubbing and that's it i think i'm repeating myself but so i'm gonna go thank you for watching the video guys the link will be down below if you want to purchase the one, the exact one that I use because there are a few that I've seen some person said that they don't work at all. So the, click the link in my bio down below if you want to purchase it. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this little review, this little tag along, experience it with me. Um, so yeah. Bye, guys.